Welcome to Old Trafford. It is the Super League 2023 Grand Final. Wigan versus Catalan. I'm so excited to be here. This is the second Rugby League Grand Final in the space of two weeks. One in Australia and now back in England. I am very, very excited. Come with me and hopefully this is going to be a brilliant game. After a bit of a faff, it was a nightmare. They would not let my bag in. The only place, the only stadium I've been to that is very difficult. We snuck the camera in, so hopefully no security spots. But I'm with Gareth, my rugby friend. Uh, as you can see, a Wigan fan. So you're happy that oh, you'll yeah. get to see them in the final. Oh yeah. Uh, so what's your score prediction? I think Wigan by 10. Well, I do think Wigan will win. I'm going to sport Wigan. Although I'm whole KR, I'm going to sport Wigan because it's the English team. I think that gives me yeah. some right to support them, right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be a good game. Teams are warming up. I don't know if there's going to be any pre-show. I'm hoping there'll be some music and something like that. Um, we're going to see. It's going to be interesting to compare between the NRL final that I went to two weeks ago to this final because obviously NRL seen as the bigger yeah, competition. Yeah, definitely the bigger club competition definitely. as well. So we'll see how it is today. All I can say is it was warmer two weeks ago in Australia. <laughs> It's a bit colder now in Manchester. The jumpers are out and the hat's on. Definitely. Please welcome Sheffield's finest, Reverend and the Makers. However, I don't think that beat Tina Turner tribute in the NRL final a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it just felt a little bit lackluster. Great fireworks, great fire. But I think they could put more effort in the Super League. NRL, that's one point to them. This is going to be a good game. Football play rugby league, it lasts about five minutes. Oh, someone's messed me here up.
that is the first half done, and it is 2-2. Two, two. A little bit lackluster, right? Very, yeah, very safe rugby so far from it, both. It does one, feel that both teams know it's a final, yeah. and they don't want to lose the game. Yeah. That's almost what it is yeah. at the moment. I, I will say there's been a few moments from both sides where they've been close. Got a yellow card, pretty clear yellow. Um, I would oh, say, yeah, it's not been the best final. No. I, it can only get better in the second half. I do find it quite amusing. We've got obviously uh, some Wigan lads in front of us. I, don't, I can barely understand them. Then we got French, a lot of French around us. I can barely understand them. <laughs> I, I literally need subtitles to know what the hell people are saying near us. Uh, it is a proper mishmash yeah, of accents and languages yeah. here. Yeah, the French fans, to the credit, they've been loud. They have. Very loud. Very, very, very um, versed song quite a few times on the French national anthem. Definitely. I, I, to be fair, um, the Catalan fans coming all this way and they have been loud, so fair yeah. play to them. I'm very friendly as well. Mm, definitely. So I've been to a lot of stadiums recently, uh, and you can see that on this vlog channel. And Old Trafford may be my least favourite so far. There's a few issues. If anyone stands up, everyone then has to stand up as well, because you can't see. I am really short, and I have nothing. It's just not a very good stadium. No, it's definitely a ground that needs some, uh, some money put in into it. Yeah, definitely. Badly. They are well, planning, they're well, planning on doing a 20,000 seater upgrade. Problem is, it's just going to go up, probably over on the, the, the Bobby Charlton stand. Yeah. for Wigan, but it is all kicking off over here, just over there. Uh, one of the girls just spat at the back of this guy. Uh, there's fighting going on down the bottom down there. It's all kicking off, isn't it? Just a bit, yeah, more live than some of the rugby's been. Honestly, rugby in both codes is meant to be fairly civil. I don't think the French got the code up message on that. Was that the no, language. It's a family channel. What happened? The <laughs> Don't swear. Remember, that's to go. You are live the on writer. YouTube. They was giving it big and until us Wigan has scored. Come on, Wigan! Yeah. It must be a France versus England thing because it's kicked off and I think it may get worse. We've got to watch out for language, but back to the game. There is just under 22 minutes left and hopefully the game will open up now. Uh, the score is 8-2 to Wigan. Let's hope for some more tries. And keeper.
Uh, for Wigan, so you must be happy. Oh, uh, yeah, of course, more Definitely. happy. Uh, I think it was more of a game of defence, like yeah. you're saying. Yeah, very, uh, very attritional game. I will say, Catalan, they set off well. They were probably the better team in the first 20 minutes, yeah. but Wigan were very resolute in defence. Second half, Catalan gave a lot, of, uh, a lot of penalties, two yellow cards. Wigan had that little bit of craft around the rock, yeah. and it's all through in the end. Bear in mind, yeah, Catalan spent 20 minutes oh, yeah. with, Cat- with one man down. Yeah. Because uh, they had two, two Simmons. Two Simmons. One of them, I reckon, should have been a red. Just because it's the final doesn't mean it wasn't that dumping him on his, yeah, on his neck. His head. Not uh, good. Uh, we're going to get to the medals and trophy presentation. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's a tough way for them to finish. Well, that is the Betfred Super League Grand Final come to a close and we are done for the season for Rugby League. Now, I said earlier on, I want to look at what the difference is and who did best between the NRL Grand Final that was two weeks ago and the Super League Grand Final. We've been discussing this out of the stadium and it's it's certainly going more towards NRL. So we're going to talk about yeah. some of the things. So uh, first of all, I don't want to just constantly be bashing Super League because I still love Super League. I love that you've got guys of all different sizes it's a more um it's an it's more of a diverse more, game it's also more off the cuff I'd think. yeah like they play more they think it up as a goal i along. think so nrl's more structured yeah but i'm going to talk about just the finals okay just this game and the nrl final and i would say first of all the one plus about super league final was the price yes. right so i paid for our tickets 50 pound per ticket which is about a hundred dollars over in in australia i think for our tickets it was at least 150 each pounds about 300 dollars so uh, three times the price but could i say that the nrl final was three times better well yeah it was probably more than three times (laughs) the epic comeback the things the things the things that nrl did really well was I think the stadium, the Accor Stadium, is a hell of a lot better than Old Trafford. I don't think Old Trafford is very good at all. I won't um, disagree with you there. You think? I won't disagree. Oh, you won't no, disagree? Won't oh, good, disagree. thank God for that. Uh, um, I think the only stadium that really went rivals in this country is Wembley. I think so. Yeah. There's a few things. So for, if we're talking about the stadium, what I would have loved is, like at the Accor Stadium, you've got a huge screen, a huge, that takes up the whole um, northern or you the got, smaller you side room at Old Trafford, um, like and at Old Trafford it's a tiny screen there is no way of seeing really I was lucky because I have the big zoom lens um, what I would say as well is the match in general the NRL game was one of the best finals yeah. you watched it here yeah, I, watched I was it, obviously yeah. there it was one of the best finals. It was yeah, incredible. Yeah, 20 to go, Penrith were, were out of it, and then they, yeah. they just There was up. real fight, wasn't there? Yeah, they really Even did. with no time left, whereas this yeah, one, I just, said this, it's not that they didn't try. Yeah, Penrith, uh, sorry, Catalan didn't have that 5% more that they should have given. No. But, I mean, for 25 minutes, we were saying that, Pe- that Catalan were the better team than Wigan, and I'm saying that as a Wigan fan. But Wigan did have the superior defence, 
They kept the penalty count down. Mm. Catalan gave away a lot of penalties. Two sim bins. I will say one thing, though, to Liam Moore's credit. I know you disagree, maybe, Go on. with the red card. He let the game <sighs> flow. No, you he shouldn't referee to the occasion. You should referee to the laws of the game. Then when we're looking at the sort of the pre-match entertainment, Tina Turner tribute was incredible. And I know there was the story because obviously Tina Turner, Turner in the NRL 30 years ago really, really promoted it. Yeah. And it was all in, on the actual ground. It was in the middle, f fire, everything. And it was fantastic. Here we had Reverend and the Makers. Makers. Now, if you don't know who Reverend and the Makers are, I know them, but they were stuck in a corner. They were wedged in there and it just didn't have that no, they excitement were, it, before. They, it, right, they were just giving it 50%. They weren't really getting the crowd amped up. They no. were, obviously they are from Wigan, so they are gonna be leaning towards Wigan. Um, and they performed their big hit at the old heavyweight yeah. champion in the world. When they all came out, when the players, that yeah. was good. And yeah. they had the fireworks, yeah. the fire. The fireworks couldn't knock, they but were pretty good. I think, it, I think it almost demonstrates the money. Yeah. Right? In, in Australia, there is more money for rugby league oh, a lot and a lot less in rugby league, super league over here. Yeah. And I think that showed. That really, really showed. And finally, how many people can say they've been to the NRL final and the Super League final in the space of two weeks in the same year? Jamie. <sighs> I've done well. I Jamie. have done really, really well. It was a long trip up north to Manchester. I got a bit of a nosebleed. I don't like coming up north too often. <laughs> it's full of northerners I don't understand. Are you staying the night as well? <sighs> yeah, I'm not going straight away, but I can't wait to get back down south. The air is clean. <laughs> the sun is out. It's, be it's beautiful. Don't rub it into it. It's my turf now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please do make sure you like and subscribe and join along for more adventures. I'll catch you next time. See you later.